Hello, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to add new pages to our existing web application or to an application and how to navigate through different pages with the help of different features that we have in our ASP.NET. So I'm going to name it as add pages example. I'll say OK. So as usual, it is going to give me a default page and I will just go for the view and solution explorer. I have got default page. Now in this default page, I will write some message saying that this is my default page. I will save this. Now if I want to add one more page as we have default in the same sense, I can just select my project. I right click on it and I will say add new items. And I am going to select a web form and I will name it as my page. And I will simply say add. So it has added me my page with code behind file along with it. Now I will just go to the design and here I will write it as this is my page. Now I will go back to my default page and what I want, I want to link this page with my page. So I can simply go to the standard controls and I can drag and drop a hyperlink. I can go to the properties and in property window I can name it as HL prefix hyperlink with HL HL my page so that we will come to know that it is going to link to my page and the text instead of hyperlink I will just write it as my page and whenever I click on this link it should navigate me to navi with the help of navigate URL I can set that it should redirect me to my page I will just browse this and here I have got all the pages of my solution explorer I will just select my page and I will say ok so whenever I click on my page link it is going to take me to my page. I will save this and I am going to execute this. Now I am on default ASPX page. Whenever I click on my page, it should take me to my page. So I am on my page. I can go back, again click on my page, I am coming on my page. I will simply close this. Stop the execution. This is one way to navigate from one page to another page. Another way is simply you can write my page link and I will select this and I will just go for convert to hyperlink icon. The same icon we have in our word document and I will click on this and here I will just say browse and I will browse it to my page. Say ok and I will execute this. This is going to work in the same sense. It is going to put an anchor tag for me, an HTML anchor tag. It takes me to my page. Another way or uh, the easiest way is very simple. You have your my page over on the right in your solution explorer. Just select that page, drag and drop it. So you will get a link to that particular page. I will run this. If I click on my page, it should take me to that page. Now this is one of the many ways of navigating from one page to another page. Now the last thing that I want to show you is on a button click. 
So I have a button. I have dragged and dropped the button on my page. These are the standard controls. Anyway, we are going to see these controls in our next video in depth, each and every control. Now I take a button. I'll name it as btn my page and whenever I click on this it should take me to my page so just I'll just put the text as my page now, on the button click it should redirect me to my page so I'll just double click the button and I'll write the code anything related to that button click in button underscore click event so the event that I get whenever I click the button is click event so id of the button underscore click so whenever i click the button this code gets executed whatever i write in this open bracket and close the bracket so i'll just try to redirect my control from default page to my page so i'll say response dot redirect to my page dot aspx And I'll execute this now whenever I click the button it should take me to my page so I'm on my page so I have shown you many ways of navigating from one page to another page so we'll be using any one depending upon our situations now if I am on my page and execute my application so it is going to take me to my page directly now what I want is wherever i may be i may be on page x y z or whatever it may be it should start from default page so i can select the default page i can make it as a startup page i just right click it and i'll say set as start page and if at all i am on my page and execute my application it will take me to the default page by default because it is the startup page even if you have 100 pages and if i am on 99th page it will take me to the first page whatever I have set as set as startup page so that's it so this is very simple to add the multiple pages to your application you can do in this way and you can navigate from one page to another page using one of the many ways that we have thank you very much